All right, so I thought I'd take some time today to run through my XPMC uh, setup here. I absolutely love the end result. I spend tons of time in front of this television. I'm going to keep it brief here. I'm going to practice brevity because I don't want to bore the hell out of people. And I can get into some, you know, Q&A in the comment section, whatever. But frankly, uh, there's quite a bit to touch on, so I'm going to jump right into it. The camera's going to wiggle around because I am holding it. I'm running this from a pretty beastly machine, GTX 770. I uh, built it back in January of this year. Uh, all new components. It's got the Haswell i5 chip. Basically, there's zero lag uh, doing all the functionality. I'm using a 650 Harmony remote. The IR receiver is Flirk. You can see it's all out of focus, and I'm not going to refocus here with this potato I'm filming with. But what you can see that's important here is the uh, Flirk IR receiver. I have Alt F4 mapped at the bottom and Escape. That's for the emulators. Other than that, I had to pick up my Logitech and quick. So I am using the Xbox controllers and the Xbox adapter, whatever the hell that is called. So let me jump right into it. Weather, pretty cool. This is the expanded pack. I'm using the Ace theme through XPMC. Loved Confluence. Ace is a little better in terms of ROM collection browser integration. So this is uh, really what I love about this. You see all those different recently played games. Uh, I'm just a gamer at heart. Been doing this for way too long, longer than I'd like to admit. So what's cool is I can pick up the Xbox controller, all the all the different emulators here, map to the configurations of the Xbox controller. Boy, this is a game I loved as a kid. So I'll go ahead and fire it up. So you can see how that works. Again, pretty quick machine. Uh, you have to keep in mind quite a bit goes on when we do all this. So in terms of this one. All I have to do is hit Alt F4, boom, XBMC is constantly running in the background. Uh, again, it's a pretty beastly machine, so I'm not really worried about the, the CPU on that. Uh, I'll show you when I launch the late gen games that XBMC does quit. So uh, let me just pull up another one of these. And there's so many different views. Let me hop in a different view here. Uh, and you can sort it by. So here's the sort year. I mean, just all sorts of crazy integration. This is ROM Collection Browser again. So let's look at the, the posters, pretty pretty good looking here. So these sometimes these media arts don't map perfectly, but I mean it looks pretty freaking cool. And again, let me just launch one of these. I'll launch the PlayStation. Kind of give you an example of why I mapped both Escape and Alt F4. Uh, both the PlayStation emulators, you cannot quit with Alt F4. So if I was to have one consistent quit button amongst all the emulators, there would be some issues. So yeah, this is PlayStation 2. Uh, I don't even have the Xbox controller synced up. So with this one, again, I'm going to have to hit Escape. Boom, that's done. Lowers the screen. Now Alt F4. So not one button solution there, but certainly no issues for me. I'm, I'm really, really digging it. I just got this Flirk last week. Uh, it's the IR receiver. Uh, works wonders. That's a pretty silly game that I had up there, so I love this. This is actually why I'm using the Ace Theme ROM Collection Browser. Absolutely amazing. Let's me bring back my old titles in a modern format here, because who's going to be swapping out cartridges and such? Uh, I'm certainly not. So Steam. Let's hop into Steam. This is what I was mentioning where this is a special Steam add-on, so it kills XPMC. XPMC is not running in the background right now, which is super handy. So, one thing that's pretty neat about Steam, obviously you can play late games. Well, you'll notice here I just got this one last week, Titanfall. Pretty cool game. Uh, it launches from Origin. So, Steam, you can launch Origin games. Uh, basically, I just grabbed an image that fit the resolution, and then I plugged it in here. That way, I could have a pretty cool image and make it look consistent. But, again, I would launch this up, and I'm not going to do it because it's not super quick, as quick as I would like. And then I would just exit out with the Xbox controller and then hit Alt F4 to, to kill Origin. So from here I could hit Alt F4 and kill Steam or I can just go to exit, exit Steam, return to either one and then boom. Right back to XMB, XBMC. Pretty good experience there. Uh, it did take me off my current nav item which you know so be it. But let me jump back to it so I can go ahead and give the tour here. Hulu, these are just custom nav items. Ace lets you get very custom, pretty great. Netflix, again, custom nav item. 
You notice with some of these other items here, there are favorites and widgets, and these don't have widgets. I love widgets. Uh, you can add a secondary nav. You cannot add widgets. Pretty lame. Uh, favorites, I use this to flag different movies. I just added a video or main nav item for favorites. Uh, video add-ons, added a main nav item for add-ons. Uh, not going to go on these. If you're looking at XBMC video, you know what these are. My music collection, I'm certainly not going to do the metadata. Would like to have it done. Might pay for a solution, but not doing that manually. Uh, that's for the screen. It will play it. Shares from a network area storage. Same with all these TV shows. Uh, same cover right there. It's all the same show. Don't have, really have very many shows. That looks pretty lame. But my movie collection, you know, I, I just love having my movies available like this. It just really, really makes me happy. And these are, you know, some of my Blu-rays that I've backed up. And, oh, it just makes me happy. But yeah, this is a good setup. I wanted to share it. Uh, it's, it's a constant work in progress. I think anyone who's messed with XBMC knows that you're never really going to be able to sign off and say it's finished. But I'm really loving the ROM collection browser, loving the Ace theme. Uh, loving XBMC. Can't complain. Titanfall needs a single player campaign because I get owned with my Xbox remote on these people with mouse and keyboard. But that's a gripe for another day. I really like the setup. Holler.